Welcome family, friends, and loved ones. We gather here today to celebrate and share in the union of Megan and Matthew. We are not here to witness the beginning of their relationship, but to acknowledge and celebrate a lasting bond that already exists between them. Megan and Matthew have joined their hearts together and chosen to walk together on life's journey before God. The commitment of love between Megan and Matthew speaks of their shared experience together and their dreams for the future, of the most importance to each of them as individuals, as well as the bond they share, and the importance of their community of family and friends. The giving and receiving of rings is the most important part of a marriage ceremony. Because the rings are made in the symbol of that which is everlasting. There is no beginning and no end as you place these symbols on each other's finger. It signifies that there shall be no end to your marriage and no end to the happiness that you both share together. As you place the ring on Megan's finger, repeat after me. I give you this ring, wear it with love and joy. I give you this ring, wear it with love and joy. And this ring has no end. And this ring has no end. My love is also forever. My love is also forever. Megan, as you place the ring on Matthew's finger, repeat after me. With this ring, I marry you. With this ring, I marry you. Wear this ring forever. Wear this ring forever. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. May the wedding rings you exchange today remind you always that you are surrounded by enduring love. When you realize you want to spend the rest of your life with someone, you want the rest of your life to start as soon as possible. With that being said, it is my honor, it is my joy, and by the power vested in me by Universal Life Church and the great state of New Jersey, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Matthew Giordano. like a train into my life with no brakes. At the bonfire, I remember telling Rob as soon as I got into the car that I found my person, that Megan was it. You bring out the best in me, and Matt is one lucky guy. Matt, the girl next to you is amazing. She lights up any room that she walks in and is guaranteed to feed any animal, even if it's in the middle of the night and a raccoon, she will sit there and tap to make sure it's okay. And I, and I can speak on behalf of my husband, that we always promise to be here for you, for better or for worse, 
for poor, to sickness and in health, to, to death do us part. That's the only way you're gonna get rid of me. Short story, we <laughs> met back in 2019 in the academy and uh, basically saved his life. If not, he would've never been here. <laughs> He's here. I couldn't save him because, you know, we came close in the academy, graduated. I went to a better department than he did. Sorry for you to say guys, but practice and fire is number one. That first year, I kind of stole Matt from Megan. He was over his bottom of my house, helping me out and stuff. So she kind of got stuck with me. Just wish you guys the best. You know, you guys can count on me whenever, phone call away. Whatever you guys need, I'm here. And I wish you guys many, many, many years of happiness and a bunch of little rugrats running around. Right? For 10 wonderful years, I was an only child. <laughs> <laughs> then uh, one fateful Christmas day, Santa brought me Megan. I don't know what I did, but I must have been really bad. <laughs> so now my sister, she got married to a, a good dude named Matt. Matt and I are we're very similar. This is a this is a bad thing for Megan because uh, we both know how to torment her. I'm officially delegating the full time annoyance obligation to you. In all seriousness, though, these two are great together and will accomplish great things in the future, as they have already started to. I wish you both the best in this adventure. I'm very proud of you both. Uh, congratulations, Megan. I love you. Matt, love you too. Welcome to the family, bud, and best of luck. She's legally your problem now. <laughs>